progress in transportation greatly influences our daily lives. Ground-based traffic is constantly increasing, which is causing further congestion problems. Solutions have to be found to meet the future demands of personal transportation. The European project MyCopter is addressing this issue through investigation of technologies for future personal aerial vehicles. The idea of a personal aerial vehicle is to make flying rotorcraft as easy as driving a car. DLR Braunschweig is operating the ideal research platform for investigating future rotorcraft technologies, the flying helicopter simulator. The modified EC-135 helicopter can simulate the flight characteristics of other real or virtual aircraft. Before new technologies can be flight tested, novel concepts must first be developed and tested using ground-based simulation devices. As part of the MyCopter project, the University of Liverpool has developed a generic PAV dynamics model that features characteristics designed to make flying simple, even for novice pilots. The same easy to handle flight characteristics can be demonstrated at DLR using the flying helicopter simulator. Furthermore, human machine interfaces for personal aerial vehicles are investigated. How about driving your rotorcraft in the same way as a car? At the DLR Institute of Flight Systems, a prototype steering wheel has been prepared for simulation and flight testing. The experimental control algorithms have been adapted to feature easy to handle flight characteristics with steering wheel control. All technologies to be demonstrated on the flying helicopter simulator must prove their maturity in ground-based simulation. This is done in DLR's air vehicle simulator. The combination of advanced response types with car-like steering is proposed to make flying easier for future pilots. The pilot of a conventional helicopter controls pitch and roll rate with the centre stick. The collective lever commands the thrust, while the pedals are used to control the yaw rate. The concept changes completely when using a steering wheel. Now, the wheel controls a well-balanced combination of yaw and roll motion depending on the current airspeed. The collective lever commands the height. The function of the pedals also changes. As in a car, the right pedal is used for acceleration, whilst the left pedal is used to decelerate the aircraft to hover. Precise manoeuvring can be accomplished through the use of additional switches placed on the wheel. Everybody is used in uh, driving cars and everybody is doing it with a steering wheel on board of this car. And so, uh, flying helicopter with a steering wheel now is quite intuitive. After successful ground testing, developed concepts are transferred to the real helicopter, the flying helicopter simulator. The experimental onboard computer system takes priority over the EC-135's flight characteristics, causing it to behave like a personal aerial vehicle. The evaluation pilot conducts all experiments from the right seat, while the safety pilot sits on the left and oversees the manoeuvres.